Well, next to an intriguing tie at Ibrox for Rangers, rampant in the Championship, took on a Kilmarnock side plodding along in the Premiership. To add even more intrigue, the man at the helm for Kilmarnock today was the former Rangers stalwart Lee McCulloch and caretaker charge after Guy Locke's resignation last weekend. Commentary on this one comes from Paul Mitchell. Three top flight clubs have already gone out of this season's Scottish Cup. Two all Premiership ties in the fifth round ensures that that total will rise to a minimum of five. Kilmarnock will hope not to be added to that list, but it's a daunting prospect for a side under new management. And it's the same again for Mark Warburton and Rangers, an unchanged 11 from the team who won midweek against Ray Throvers. Kenny Miller makes his 600th senior appearance in British football. Lee McCulloch's first Kilmarnock side has five changes to the starting 11 from the match against Hamilton, including three of four at the back. Stephen Smith and Stuart Finlay return. Tope Obadiah, a sub the last three, will start. And there's debuts for new signings, Lee Hodgson and Gary Dicker. What a place for your very first match as a manager. Referee Bobby Martin has used his red card four times in his last four games. In like a quiet afternoon today. Chris McGuinness trying to get involved early. Well, that's a nice touch from the Rangers fans acknowledging a man they consider to be one of their own. So far, he's done almost everything that's been asked of him as Rangers manager. Mackenzie. The way is Kilty. Needs some help. Gets it from the fullback Hodson to the middle. It goes to the header from Josh McGuinness. And that's a great chance for Kilty's top goal scorer. Lovely ball inside, worked the one two. Kilty's cross was inviting. You've got to say Josh McGuinness did everything right. Angled the header away from Fodderingham. Agonisingly side of the post Kenny Miller has Mackay outside him Hudson faces him up and a slip ball into Lee Wallace tries to beat a former teammate in the shape of Jamie McDonald well, again it's good play from Rangers Mackay just slipped it in, Wallace quickly into his stride. That's well picked up by Kilty, up to McGuinness. Wilson with a touch. Davenier rattles it off the post. Well, he made something out of nothing there. Came into his feet, he turned so quickly. And Jimmy McDonald was beaten. James Tavernier just took that in so quickly, got the touch. It's a great hit. And that was nearly the opening goal. Good effort. So Halliday. Almost inevitably onto Mackay. Mackay against Hodson. Hodson trying to stick close. Mackay looking to skip free. He clears McGuinness. This breaks back off Kilty. McGuinness over die wide one side. Kilty the other. Over die. Smith on the overlap. He'll go himself and he'll shoot as well. Forium gets it away. Smith is onside. Lashes it across. And then the flag goes up. And over die. And he picked this ball out wide. Smith's run. It was all but a dummy run. And then he was given offside. The Rangers thought about a penalty here. Certainly a claim. Very little in that. Billy King and Michael Halloran looking on. Both cup tied and able to take part today. Lee Hodgson with a free kick. Again, this is the target. Come out to Obadai. Obadai holds up. Craig Slater on the overlap. Slater away from Tavernier. And Kierman goes for the shot, hits the goalkeeper. Well, Rory McKenzie was calling for it inside. Craig Slater 
was put through by Obadai, decided to go himself. He rattled it in. Not the shot away well as Kiernan went past. Not sure Fordingham knew much about it. Oh, he certainly didn't. You almost forget Rangers are championship side. They'll be up against the team from the Premiership and come on it just got a little bit quicker than they've seen most of the season as Halliday works his way free and Jimmy McDonald makes the stop good strike excellent goalkeeping oh Jimmy McDonald excellent goalkeeping watched it all the way knew that was sneaking in that's a great one-handed stop from McDonald never kept a clean sheet against Rangers that will go a long way towards one today Scottish first Scottish Cup goal for Rangers in the last round. Short pass on to Jason Holt. Back to Mackay. Halliday had made the run into the box, but Finlay had read it. Down the middle, breaks back to Forrester. Forrester with a chance! Well, he had a man outside him, and Harry Forrester off the bench for the fifth time in his Rangers career. Real good opportunity this. Steadied himself, thought about the pass, dragged it too far. He'd be happy with his involvement, but not with the finish. Wycourt tries a little offload. He's well read by Balatoni. Slater loses out. And when you lose out like that, you can latch out and hope taken down. Just wanted to try and get it away. And then just went through the back of Jason Hope. Tavernier sending a word, seeing how he's going to deliver it. Rangers make the run into the middle, and it's just guided way. Andrew Halliday was the closest. Well, they fairly fizzed that one in. And Halliday almost fell at his feet. His momentum, if he got a touch, it was in. Just couldn't reach it. It's a terrific free kick in. Goalkeepers hate that. Finley missed it. To come on, actually, so did everybody else. Peter Lovenkrantz working for Rangers Television. He's quite liked around these parts. Forrester. Hooked up, Wilson made the run off the crossbar. Back onto Wycombe. Sidney. Danny Wilson made his run. Got the header up, plants the bar, and then Wycombe couldn't put it on target. Rangers continuing to threaten. And Danny Wilson comes close. He's the cleanest of connections, doesn't have to be. On to Mackay. Brilliant ball into the middle, Wycombe! There's not another player on the pitch. Rangers would rather have that ball fall to than their top goal scorer, Martin Wankhorn. Mackay, delightful. Wankhorn, just off the foot. His left boot didn't control as he'd hoped. It could have been one down. Cavanier. Oh, the boot was slightly high from Higginbotham. The yellow card. In fact, it's a red card. Well, he was battling for it, the substitute. The boot was up, and Callum Higginbotham is off. Under two minutes to play. He came across. Well, it was high, and the referee decided that the Kung Fu style endangered the player. And for violent conduct, Callum Higginbotham is sent off. A moment of controversy at Ibrox. Rangers in the final few seconds of normal time. Mackay sends it in, comes back towards ball. Tavernier's made the turn, knocked away by Finlay, Waghorn deflected! Well, Josh McGuinness here, has been involved at the other end, trying to make something happen. And this time, he makes the block from the shot from Waghorn. You might think it's not his day. Tavernier. Up against Smith. Smith has to be careful, he's been yellow-carding. Tavernier's shown too much of it. 
and Kilty knocks it away as the full-time whistle goes and Lee McCulloch on his managerial debut gets a draw at his former club Rangers had the better of the possession the better chances and Kilmarnock and Rangers will do it all over again at Rugby Park it's finished at Ibrox Rangers nil, Kilmarnock nil and due to an ongoing situation between BBC Scotland and Rangers, we have no interviews from Ibrox. First time this season that Rangers have failed to score, Pat. And uh, how much credit do Killy deserve for that? Well, part of the chances that Rangers missed, they made quite a few, but no doubt Kilmarnock had to defend well. And they did stoically. I mean, the blocks that they had, the last minute blocks were the things that stuck out with me. I mean, getting themselves in a good position, that's a decent block there. You know, these are all going towards goal. And it's all over the park. I mean, it's right, it's left, it's central. They're getting some decent shots in Rangers, but Kelly players, they've got a real spirit about them for this game. Now, don't get it wrong, the better team on the day were Rangers by a distance. But when they had to go and defend desperately, um, they did so. And I was really impressed with all the way through the team. And it didn't really seem to matter who it was. I mean, in this case, it's McGuinness. And you know, lose the game if he's not back there working his socks off, trying to do it for the team. So. Lee McCullough's managed to get you know, a clean sheet against Rangers. Sure. It's, it's tough to do that against Rangers, as we know this season. First time it's happened. But the attitude from those defenders and from the whole team was very, very good. But take away nothing for the fact Rangers were the better side. And I'll tell you what, come out are very lucky to be still in this competition. Absolutely. And that's the case for the defence, for the Kilmarnock defence, of course. But are you surprised, Terry, that Rangers didn't find a way through in this match? Yeah, certainly. I mean, dominating the second half in particular, there's uh, Tavernier getting a good shot uh, in there. A little slight bobble up there, but uh, he scored a few goals this season as well. And he's there going forward. But this Halliday, this is one of the best shots. I mean, a great save. Jamie McDonald really low down to his right-hand side. That's going in, as we can see from behind the goal. Good bit of bend on it, going inside the post. And that's a wonderful save. And, you know, they had a lot of corners ranges. And he sort of thought they've only got three men in the box, but they only needed one there. That was Danny Wilson. And then... It's, uh, uh, I think Waghorn slices it or slashes it into the, into the side netting, but you know, they, they had chances and this is possibly the best opportunity and it's a great ball by Mackay to the far post. There's Waghorn, it's more like Foghorn Leghorn with that touch because it just goes <laughs> wide, so he yeah, ruined that chance. I think he was thinking about the shot before the ball came to him and you know, before he got control of it, but uh, what a chance. Now I thought it was a red card all day long, Terry, but you're not... You're not so sure. In fact, you told me that you would probably appeal it if you were a manager. Oh, I'd love to appeal it. I'd love to go down to the SFA. I had some great meetings with them. And whether I believed it was a red card or not, I just used to love going down. But <laughs> I'm not too sure if that was. I think, I think Higginbottom thinks that um, Tavernier is going to come in with his foot and he tries to play the ball with his thigh as the Rangers play. And look, I think Bobby Madden's had a bit of snuff there or something else that just clouded his judgment there when he pulls out a red card. I think he went for the yellow card and all of a sudden that comes out. Pat, what was your view? Um, my view was I was wrong. First time I seen it, I thought, that's actually really harsh. Then I watched it a few times and thought, referee, you're right, that's a red card for me all day long. Every, every league in the world, you get a red card for that. I don't think he meant it. Not, not I don't in my league. Not in my league. league. <laughs> yeah, I've played, I've played against you in your league. I remember what it was like. No, not in my no, league. But to be fair, it, you know, I don't think it's malicious, but your feet up with that, stamping down with studs, the referee's within his rights to produce the red. Is this an extra game both sides could do without? Um, yeah, I think it's, it probably helps Hibs from a Rangers point of view, but uh, Kilmarnock, you know, the chance to get Rangers back to their patch and, you know, have a go. I mean, Kilmarnock have, have kept two clean sheets in Glasgow, one at Celtic Park early in the season, now one at Ibrox, so they'll feel pretty confident that they can turn them over, and why not? As we say, anything can happen when it comes to the cup matches. 